welcome. Uh, today is January 24th, 2020, and I'm here to do our daily check in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. Okay. So <clears throat> for today, today is the new moon uh, here in the United States and I want to uh, pull up a, a little bit of information here um, to kind of go over what the energies are bringing us for this new moon. So for this particular moon, it's all about crazy mood swings, okay? So you might find that your moods might fluctuate during this time. It's a sign of unexpected changes, unpredictable behavior, and crazy mood swings. And it's also influenced by a star that indicates crisis and these mood swings. It will cause uncertainty, anxiety, and insecurity for some, but there are positive aspects in the new moon chart and potential in a fixed star to take advantage of. With a focused mind and stable emotions, you can react quickly and decisively to changing conditions to find wealth, success, and true love. The new moon problems. The new, moon, uh, the new moon square, Uranus, brings uncertainty, anxiety, and unexpected change. A buildup of nervous tension can result in unpredictable behavior, abruptness, and sudden mood swings. A strong need to assert your independence can lead to impulsiveness, rebellion, arguments, and tantrums. The best way to handle this new moon is with open-mindedness and flexibility. Be proactive about positive change. Work out why you're feeling restless or what is causing the feeling of impending drama and chaos. Changes in your personal appearance or attitude could lead to a brave new path that opens your life to many more possibilities and opportunities. This is also a good new moon to break bad habits or addictions. Doing so would satisfy your strong urge to break free of restriction and assert your independence. The Venus square Mars can cause relationship difficulties because of sexual or competitive tension. Anger, a lack of self-control, and impulsiveness could easily exacerbate the unpredictable and shocking nature of Uranus. So if you're already an impatient or aggressive person, try not to lose your temper. If you're dating, take care not to lower your standards or put yourself at risk because of impatient lust. So my guidance for, for you all around this new moon is to stick to yourself. And I always say this, you can't go wrong when you focus on yourself. Okay, guys, you know, if you find yourself angry, take a bath. Today's the perfect day for the bath, okay? So let me go ahead and see what energies are going to come through for this collective for the weekend, okay? Dear Spirit, what is the overall energy of our masculine collective? And what is the overall energy of our feminine collective? And what are the energies towards each other? What is the new moon bringing to this masculine and feminine collective? For masculines, we have pleasure, okay? Now, <clears throat> I feel like they have a, a sense of completion here when it comes to pleasure. And honestly, guys, uh, what I'm feeling is that this masculine may not be on the up and up, okay? That is the feeling I'm getting. They might make irrational decisions, you know, and it might lead them to chaos, <laughs> 
and you know something that doesn't have a, a good end result so I feel that some of the energies I had channeled from yesterday's reading is actually trickling into today's but let's see where this pleasure is taking this masculine for this new moon Towards the feminine, we have protection, okay? And I see here number 24. This masculine could be protecting this uh, relationship or situationship with you, divine feminines. That is what I'm seeing. So let me go ahead and see what is the feminine's energy. Feminines, you have boundaries. You're setting boundaries when it comes to people, places, and situations. Again, you know, my guidance is if you don't, you know, uh, know like where you're at in your journey and you're not in communication with your masculine, I highly uh, don't recommend that you go out and have a night on the town and end up with uh, a chance encounter, okay? It might backfire on you feminines. That is one feeling. You know, I'm going to get to the bottom of this pleasure card with this masculine because I have mixed emotions on that. But I feel like this masculine is really protecting the connection with the feminines. And feminines, you're setting healthy boundaries from what I can see. And you're really working on it. And towards the masculine, we have purity. Again, I feel like feminines, by you setting those healthy boundaries... You're purifying yourself and purifying uh, your negative karma by standing in your own integrity. That is why you are protected in this connection with your masculine. So let me go ahead and see. What is the underlying energy of this masculine? And what is the underlying energy of this feminine? And what is the underlying energy towards each other? What is the underlying energy? Please, spirit. Hmm. All that glitters. Like I said, I didn't have a good feeling about this you know, for the masculines in their overall energy of pleasure. You know, what I'm feeling is that <clears throat> masculines, if you're trying to pleasure yourself, all that glitters isn't gold, okay? For whatever reason, you are protecting the situationship with your feminine because the feminine is not taking breadcrumbs. They are not retracting and going back into their old energies of the past, setting those healthy boundaries. And masculine, the only thing you're thinking about is pleasuring yourself. Okay? That is what I'm seeing. But I feel like, you know, you could be working on yourself let me go ahead and read uh, the description and see what this one says, okay? I'm very curious. <clears throat> and there's two masks on that glittery pile. The essential meaning, a need to see beyond the superficial, the desire to don a mask or dress something up to disguise its true nature, trying to be something you're not, chasing after every sparkly new thing, being mercurial. What did I say? This masculine, they're trying to pleasure themselves with, you know, superficial things. But mind you guys, when the makeup comes off, You'd be surprised at what you might see, okay, masculine? So I'm just putting it out there, okay? <laughs> just saying. It's only human to only want to adorn oneself in trinkets and paint a pretty picture of oneself. It's natural to want to acquire the trappings of status or to deny, to deny them as a statement of rebellion. But if it sparkles, is it better? Whether it's a fast car, a big house, a title or position, the stamp of authority or the sparkling of diamonds, these icons let you know something about a person, place or thing or do they? 
The truth is that people seek to acquire things because of what they will do for them and how they symbolically will elevate them to make them more attractive. This card signals that it's time to see beyond the adornments and probe underneath the surface. Learn to recognize the mask of people of people wear and the motives underlying them. Imagine all that glitter is gone. <laughs> Would you still desire the the person? <laughs> what did I say, guys? <laughs> Let's say the masculine, you know, they, they went online. They saw something that glittered, right? It looked good. And a picture. But let's say they took their ass home. <laughs> and uh, they had, a, you know, physical uh, interaction. And then lo and behold, you know, as all the makeup was smudged on the pillowcase or whatnot, and they turned around and saw like what they were sleeping with. Hello. All that glitters wasn't gold, was it? <laughs> For some people, they need a lot of work to cover up their imperfections. That is what I'm seeing. And this mask is taking pleasure in it, guys, okay? I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat what I'm seeing here. So <clears throat> let's see what else. For the feminines, from the masculines to the feminines, we have a leg up. This masculine, I feel, is wanting to give a leg up and possibly um, support the feminine in the protection so feminines, get this, while you're setting your boundaries, you know, honoring yourself, okay, purifying yourself when it comes to masculine, this masculine is honoring you. They are going to grant you that protection. But in the meantime, this masculine is going off and pleasuring themselves with a karmic situation. They're not done yet, guys. When, when this new moon comes around, what this newness for this masculine is, is a sense of adventure, okay? You know, they're going to let you, you know, do what you need to do in order to heal yourself. But this masculine is enabling a toxic pattern or behavior that they have not yet released. Hence the reason I feel like this particular masculine is not working on themselves, okay? They still have some karmic lessons to learn. It's quite unfortunate, guys, okay? I'm just a messenger, but that's what I'm seeing here for today. So, feminines, we have observer. As you're setting boundaries, you're making observations. Observations on self and possibly the masculine. I see that you're looking up to the moon here, feminines. That is what I'm seeing. And you're really working on yourself. You're no longer wanting to enable toxic uh, behaviors or patterns from your masculine. That is what I'm seeing. And finally, with the masculines, you have Imagine. Again, I see here another moon uh, that is appearing in this depiction. Feminines, you are imagining the purity that you can have in this divine connection with your masculine. Masculines is offering protection and they are honoring your choices and decisions to become pure and setting boundaries. However, this masculine wants to entertain themselves right now, guys, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see what else. Okay, because I'm not liking this masculine energy for today. Let alone this new moon. So let's see. You know, the divine feminines are stepping up their game, trying to honor themselves and in this connection, in this divine union. And masculines, you know, they think they can get away with this you know, by honoring the feminine's wishes. But what about themselves? They're only uh, being selfish and not really uh, working on themselves when I can see. But let's see what else. I hope, uh, I hope there's something better <laughs> for this mess. <clears throat> Let's 
Nothing is yet set in stone. Like I said, this is a temporary energy. Feminines, what I'm feeling is don't like don't accept breadcrumbs from your masculine when you stand in your integrity and you set those healthy boundaries that is actually helping your masculine perhaps your masculine isn't ready for this divine union there's still some old patterns or habits that this masculine needs to work on and guys i kid you not if this masculine takes home like um, a little debutante okay and they find out when they rub their face and they're like oh wow it's not that pretty uh underneath you know they didn't know what they got themselves into guys they're like oh they're they're gonna feel disgusted their karma is gonna go back on them okay i kid you not i can see this in my mind that's why i tell that earlier guys you know if if this masculine okay wakes up in the next morning and they see all of that makeup smudged on the pillowcase and then they take a good look at what they were laying next to hence the night before they're probably intoxicating themselves with uh substances whether it being alcohol or drugs or whatnot and then you know as they become more sober and clear-minded not having any kind of poison affecting their intuition or their ability to see. Now they can see. All oh, that glitters wasn't gold, guys. I'm just saying, guys, you know, I've been channeling a particular masculine that isn't on the up and up lately. I feel like they're going out indiscreetly, seeking other people other than their divine feminine. And their karma is going to circle back and bite them in the ass. That's what I'm saying. That's why nothing is yet set in stone. This is a temporary karmic lesson for this masculine. And towards the feminine, emotions are running high. They're emotional, guys. Okay, they're super moody. That possibly feminines that you have set up some boundaries. And you're not giving in until this masculine comes in with their full integrity. Are they ready? Feminines, communication is key. It is important for you to communicate clearly. It's okay that I see that you're uh, making observations, you know, and setting healthy boundaries. But communicate clearly, okay, about your needs, wants, and desires. And towards the masculine, the energy is gaining momentum. It's gaining momentum as you imagine the pure connection that you're having with the masculine. Stay in your integrity, feminines. Don't default, okay? And go back to the low vibrational ways, okay? If you have been operating in that in previous times. Stay high vibrational. Just keep doing you. Set your boundaries, okay? Don't retract or go back on your past actions because the masculine is enabling this behavior okay that is what i'm seeing oh my god guys i don't know let's see what else is coming through for this masculine and feminine collective for today what else is currently going on with this masculine and feminine collective for today what else is going on? Please, Spirit. Meditation. This masculine needs to meditate, okay? Before they go after whatever is glittery and gold, right? They need to think about it. They're not thinking because I feel like this masculine is po possibly, you know, taking up uh, something to alter their state of mind so that they can't think clearly. They need to meditate. That is what I'm seeing. They're being spiritually guided. And here we have choices when it comes to feminine. This masculine has a choice to protect this connection and possibly offer the support to the feminine of whatever the feminine needs in this now moment because their emotions are running high. So masculines, you know, because the feminines are setting up health, healthy boundaries, 
and you're honoring you know their decisions does that mean that you're going to go back and go off and uh do other you know negative things you know that is not pure that don't have healthy boundaries are you going for whatever is easy or whatever that's glittery that is what i'm seeing for this masculine guys you know that's what i'm saying masculines you have a choice what is it that you want do you want you know something that could uh, potentially be uh fake you're not seeing things too clearly that is what i'm seeing and don't you see the the purity of the feminines here your 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 most precious person that is your your other half is because they're not easy I'm getting upset with this masculine. I'm being moody. Feminines, we have here fulfillment. And this is really beautiful. When you set healthy boundaries, you will get your pomegranate, okay? You will get your fulfillment and your thirst quenched when you stay in your power. Communicate this, feminines, okay? I feel like it's a lesson for the masculine feminine collective with this new moon energy, with these mood swings, okay? Take accountability for your actions around this time. Be mindful that action is everything and whatever actions you take is your karma. Good deeds have positive karma. Bad deeds equals negative karma. So just think about what, what you're planning on doing around this new moon, okay? Set your intentions for today because it's going to go on for, for the next 28 days, okay, guys? And mind you, Mercury and retrograde is around the corner next month. Think about it. Also, we have differences. Feminines, I feel like you've come to awareness that there are some differences between you and your masculine, and I really feel like it's because you have become an awareness of yourself. You know that you stand in your full integrity, the energy is gaining momentum where you're imagining that if you purify yourself, that union will happen. But you realize that both you and your masculine are opposite of each other. Even though I feel like this masculine is giving you the space and time that you need, you know, for you to really work on yourself and set those boundaries, this masculine has a different plan they really need to work on themselves they need to meditate if this masculine does not meditate and really think about their actions guess what this i can already see it this masculine is is getting negative karma feminines you do you masculines they need to do themselves too oh my god guys i'm uh let's see what else is going on so Let's see, what is it that this masculine needs to heal at this time? And what is it that this feminine needs to heal at this time? What is it that you guys need to work on during this new moon? What is the energy that wants to come through that you guys need to heal and work on? dreams masculines follow your dreams work on your dreams if you are dreaming of your feminine dream okay put that in motion meditate you need you need to take time out for yourself that's what i'm feeling you know maybe masculines have lost hope in their dreams and they're more like in their 3D reality, seeing whatever is in front of them. Or maybe they can't see too clearly. They were dreaming of this glittery thing, coming to realize that it was false. Some fake, fake makeup or whatever, you know. Feminines, victim consciousness. You really need to work on healing this, feeling like you are a victim in your circumstance and i really feel like it's because feminines you have set boundaries for yourself when it comes to your masculine and um, amongst other people you feel like you're the victim here even though that you try to do good 
your masculine is still not on your level. They're not showing you that they're improving, even though that they are seemingly giving you uh, or honoring you in that way. They're still going back in, in negative ways, enabling toxic patterns and behaviors here. And you feel like, you know, you're the victim of the circumstance it's like, when can you get your upswing? When can things go right for you? This masculine needs to meditate and think about the choices and decisions that they're making in this connection. And I really feel like they're not choosing you at this time, feminines. Because I see that this masculine is looking this way. They're looking at their pleasure. They're only, they're only thinking about temporary pleasures, okay? That is what I'm feeling. All right, so let me see what else is going on for this collective. What else is going to happen during this new moon for this masculine collective? And what else can we expect that's going on in the feminine collective? in the 3D for these divine counterparts. What are the energies that want to come through that we can see about this masculine and feminine as whatever is happening in their environment? What is it that they are working on? What are the energies that want to come through spirit? For masculines, again, it's health. And I picked this up on yesterday's reading, okay? It was the first card that, that came out. I channeled that this masculine may be going to see a doctor because why? They have been entertaining themselves with other situations dealing w other than the feminine because I see that the feminine has set up healthy boundaries. But if the feminine is setting up healthy boundaries, then what is the masculine doing? They're not keeping to themselves. They're off in, you know, karmic land, okay? And guess what? Their health isn't great, okay? I feel like this masculine has picked up some sort of STD. I kid you not, guys. That is what I'm feeling. That is why they're not grounded. And they're not feeling compassionate, okay? And I feel like it's a work situation. I honestly feel like this masculine has, um, you know had a, a casual encounter with a workmate, okay? And that is one thing that I'm feeling. But if your mask on isn't in that negative vibration of pleasure, I really feel like, you know, they could actually have a health issue. The other thing I, I picked up on was, you know, maybe, you know, no matter how, how much pleasure that, you know, they were getting, that maybe it just won't go up. You know, that was another thing that, that I was channeling yesterday. It could be a variety of reasons, guys, okay? But if it's not that, I feel like there is a, some sort of health issue that this masculine is dealing with at this time. Also, they need to go out in nature, okay? This masculine needs to meditate. This masculine isn't meditating. They're not thinking too clearly. And that's what I'm feeling. And finally, we have music, but it's in reverse. This masculine, I feel like, is like ignoring the signs and synchronicities of whatever music that they're listening to. This masculine really needs to listen. That is what I'm feeling, you know? And I feel like, you know, it's all about their stability. They're not feeling stable right now. They're not uh, feeling very good, not even grounded from I can feel, they need a change. And here I see karmic completion, exactly. That is why nothing is yet set in stone for this particular masculine, because I feel like as this masculine went off to pleasure themselves with something that all that glitters was in gold, right? It was a karmic completion. They had to learn another karmic lesson, guys. It's like how many karmic situations does this masculine have to go through 
they're not listening you know whenever the, the music comes on songs they're just brushing it off with, and I'm pretty sure that it reminds them of you feminine they need to go out in nature meditate and their health isn't so great why because this masculine isn't meditating you know they're entertaining themselves pleasuring themselves with a karmic situation that is what I'm feeling guys okay and they're like sure feminine I'll give you a, a lending hand I'll protect you you can set up your boundaries I respect you great while they're off here trying to end their karma okay let them go through it because they learned a lesson you know, hopefully their their D don't fall off. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, guys. I'm just a messenger. <laughs> Feminines, we have completion, but it's in reverse. I feel like, you know, you still have a cycle that you need to work on. And I feel like it's because of this victim consciousness. Okay? There's still a little bit of remnants that you have to really work on. And then once you enable you know this compassion feeling compassion toward yourself and towards all people then you will complete your cycle too both masculines and feminines are going through some sort of cycle okay again we have domestic harmony for feminines but guess what it's in the upright so I feel like you are communicating Okay, you're setting healthy boundaries, not only in love, but in life as well. You know, something in the, the home. And also, you're opening up your heart towards your family. That is what I'm seeing. And here, we have effort, but it's in reverse. Feminines, you need to put in the effort. When it comes to your stability and feeling secure, okay? I feel that that's why you're not at this completion. There's still uh, some effort that you need to work on, but I feel like it's this victim mentality. You know, get yourself out of it. Yes, you are somewhat of a victim because the mask going to put you in that situation because they're hurting you. They're hurting you because they're still enabling their toxic behaviors when I can see. That is why this masculine health isn't so great. That's how karma works, guys, okay? But feminines just focus on yourself and finally we have financial discipline but it's in reverse you know I really feel like you might be uh, overspending feminines mind your, your money okay that's what I'm feeling I feel like feminines, you might be uh, overindulging in yourself because, you know, your masculine is is honoring you by you setting boundaries, but the masculine is saying, okay, you can do that, and you're just working on your finances, trying to put the effort more into yourself while the masculine is putting their efforts into a karmic. They're not doing it for themselves. That is what I'm feeling because of this low vibration that they're enabling pleasure feminines it, you're working on your self-worth your values your integrity just continue to do that okay forget what the masculine is doing because they're going through a karmic lesson right now that's what i'm seeing all right guys all right so let me go ahead and get into the tarot and see what are the general energies of this masculine and feminine collective for this new moon. What are the energies of this divine masculine and divine feminine collective that wants to come through for the new moon? What are the energies of this spirit? What are the energies that want to come through for this masculine and feminine collective? Please reveal to me what wants to come through for the masculine family collective. Thank you.
Yeah. <laughs> I really feel like overall, you know, people just need a time out. They need to meditate. They need to have some sort of awareness because your intuition is blocked. Especially for the mask on, they can't see shit for nothing, okay? Just gotta put it out there. Yeah, because why? The wheel needs to turn. Both, both masculines and feminines need to complete a cycle. They need to end whatever, you know, remnants that they have in the past so you can have an actual new beginning. Both masculines and feminines, even though that we're in the new moon energy, still has some old uh, energies that you guys need to work on. How many moon cycles is it going to take for you guys to, to get it? <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. And I see that, you know, I really feel like this is more of a selfish energy, you know, where people are really thinking about themselves and whatever makes them feel happy. For the masculine, it's about pleasure. For the feminine, it's about self-worth, you know. And that's what I'm feeling, guys, okay? You know, two different energies, but going in different directions. Because both of you guys can't see anything too clearly okay you're not seeing something that's why you know with this new moon i mean it, it's a little chaotic it's a little moody there is no balance in this situation from what i can see you know one is giving more than the other there needs to be balance and that's why there's a tower moment i feel like Maskins are enabling their toxic energies. They reverted back to some of their old ways. It's like they haven't learned their lesson. They they did at at one point, but they fell back, guys. That's what I'm feeling. And so the tower is here. The tower is here to to crush whatever that that was built before in the past. Like the tower it needs to come over and over again until you guys get it. Until you guys get the karmic lesson. And then you'll gain the spiritual enlightenment. Then you'll have the awareness. Because I see somebody's juggling. Somebody's juggling, guys. And I know who that is. You know, and it's for complete emotional happiness like I said I feel like it was selfish energies about how one person could be happy masculine really wants to be happy they want to pleasure themselves okay feminines they want to be happy too but they're doing it by setting healthy boundaries they want to do it in the pure way the, the right way the divine feminine way masculines is <sighs> In their distorted masculine energy it's they're not even divine they're halfway there they're being divine and honoring the feminine their wishes but what about the masculines alter ego you know that's why they're not taking control of the situation and not really putting any effort that is what i'm saying they're taking a step back because they're really manipulating you know the circumstance for what? Their own personal benefit. And that's why this masculine is really sad and disappointed by their actions. Karma. They knew that the love is there between you two. But they're still stuck over the past. Past actions and being butt hurt over their decisions. This masculine needs to meditate. Go out in nature, masculine. It's your turn get some fresh air and I feel like you guys really need to communicate okay especially you feminines you need to communicate clearly about your needs wants and desires and that's why detachment from outcome is always necessary because if you're attached to your masculine you're only gonna get hurt especially if your masculine isn't on the same sheet of music as you do you see And that's why I feel like, you know, you guys can't really see too clearly. There's some fears. There's some secrets that, that needs to be revealed. And it's emotions. 
your feelings for each other? Why can't this masculine be open and honest with their feelings? They went after something that was glittery. <laughs> so this masculine is being faced with being patient, balancing out their emotions, trying to figure it out. Feminines, continue to set your healthy boundaries, okay? You really need to work on this victim consciousness too, you know, because you feel like you're the victim here in this situation. This masculine needs to open up to dreaming, you know, or knowing that this relationship can exist. But they're falling back to their negative patterns. They need to open up their heart because their heart isn't in this glittery thing. It was flashy and temporary. And guess what they got? They got sick in the process. And I really feel like, you know, both counterparts need to regain their strength and courage, okay, to really move things forward, okay? It's a work in progress, guys, okay? I ain't gonna lie. Here I see Eight of Swords. What I'm getting here is that Feminines, you're trying to get out of your mind about being stuck in a situation. Again, I just feel like this is victim consciousness. You want to get out of this victim consciousness. You're trying to do the best that you can to be pure, to be love and light, to raise your vibration by setting healthy boundaries. But for what? If the mask is still like enabling this toxic behavior behind your back, you know, honoring your you know, desire to set these healthy boundaries. You're like, what, what else can I do? You just focus on yourself, okay? And here I see the chariot. Once balance is restored, then you guys can move forward and get out of this mentality here, okay? And I see that possibly a masculine's have been meditating, okay? They have done some deep soul searching and reflection, and I feel like they're ready to get out of this energy. And I feel like Masculines has made a decision. They've made a choice to communicate to you quickly, feminines, okay? I definitely see that there is movement forward. There will be communication that they're not really happy in a family situation. I feel like, okay, for some masculines, they're still stuck in a karmic situation that is dealing with a family unit. Something that they have invested for a long term. This could be a job, but I feel like it's more or less like a family. And I feel like they wanna communicate to you, feminines. It's really quick communication that they just, they're just not happy with their investments, okay? They're not happy with this family situationship. And that's why they're not able to make a decision. Possibly, you know, the, this health card is dealing with a karmic family that they can't detach from. And I feel like this masculine is trying to pleasure or make this family happy at the cost of their own well-being. That's another download that I'm getting. But you know what? Nothing is yet set in stone. This masculine needs to meditate, okay? So not all masculines are out there, you know, on the town. And with this family, all that glitters is gold. It's just shiny on the surface, okay? It's all for a show. I kid you not, I feel like this particular family likes to go on Facebook or any kind of social media outlet and show their family off. You know, trying to put on airs. Trying to feel like they're a part of a community or have a sense of community. Like, you know, we have done this, we have done that. Look at us. And this masculine is a part of this, right? 
and they're stuck in it. Because if this masculine detaches from this family unit, that is just going to, you know, break that visage that this family has built themselves up to be. And it's fake. And I see here Knight of Wands, this masculine really wants to move forward. What I'm feeling is that this masculine may not be able to come towards you, feminine, a hundred percent you know, for like the long haul because they're still stuck in a karmic situation, hence the reason why they're trying to clear their karma. But I see that this masculine wants to communicate to you quickly and you might uh, see them momentarily, okay? They might communicate to you about what's going on. They're not happy. And if you guys have been separated, this masculine wants to get out of this separation but they know that they can only check in with you for a short period of time and then they have to go back to the karmic camp because I see that this masculine can't really make a choice okay they still have to work on their karma from what I can feel that's why feminines you're setting your healthy boundaries and you feel like the victim here you're like well when when is this karmic situation going to give and finally we have seven wands. I feel like both masculines and feminines are hanging in there. Trying to see what the future holds, but not really wanting to fight off this karmic energy anymore. That is what I'm seeing, guys, okay? So, let me go ahead and see. How does this masculine feel towards the feminine? And how does the feminine feel towards the masculine? How are you guys feeling towards each other? At least the sun is out. It was raining. Masculines want to flirt with you, feminine. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Look at that. They want to be flirty. You know, they want, they want, you know, honestly, guys, I feel like this masculine wants to have pleasure with their feminine. You know, that is what I'm seeing. But there's something. All that glitters is in gold. I feel like they're stuck in a, in a karmic situation. I don't care if it's another person or a family unit, you know, it's all fake. Okay. But I do feel that with this masculine's energy towards the feminine they are protecting this connection and they really want to flirt with you feminine yeah because here i see finances and career possibly this karmic situation is a family okay i mean is a job you know, and i saw that here with the ten of pentacles in reverse they have been investing into their time focus attention into work that's what I'm saying. That's why they can't really, you know, make a decision because their finances are upside down. And here I see pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you, masculines, hence <laughs> all that glitters is in gold. Pay attention to red flags. Meditate. And honestly, masculine, stick to your own damn self. That is one feeling. You know, if the feminines can do it, so can you. And get rid of your karmic situation. I, f I see that you're, you're up for your karmic completion. It's time for you to close out those karmic cycles. This is the new moon to do it. So do it. You have 28 days, okay? And next we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. And I saw that with this ten of pentacles, but it's upside down. This family unit is not healthy and it's not happy it's fake okay this togetherness with this family is fake and it's affecting the children that is what i'm seeing guys i kid you not for feminines you know we here release your ex feminines you have romantic feelings okay your feelings are real and worth exploring you still have this sense of nostalgia hence you are imagining this pure union with your masculine but you know that you guys have some differences trust 
trust that the situation is calling you to have faith. You just have to trust in the connection. That is why, feminines, you are on the up and up. You are setting healthy boundaries. Keep doing that and get rid of this victim consciousness, okay? Work through those negative energies and know that you're doing this for you. You are not a victim, okay? You're above that. And just trust that you will have union with your masculine. But your masculine has to detach and get out of this karmic cycle with the karmic, okay? It, it looks glittery. And have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Trust that you will have these heart-to-heart -heart conversations with your masculine. The masculine is protecting this connection with you. They held a space in their heart, okay, in this divine union. Just because they're in a karmic situation doesn't mean that they don't love you because I know they do. They're just in the 3D right now, working on 3D things. And here we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Feminines, if you want your masculine very soon, they will come. But you have to be in the mindset and know that your masculine is coming. Okay? So that's what I'm seeing for this collective. So let me go ahead and end this reading with an angel answer guidance message. And see what comes through for this collective. What are the energies that want to come through for this collective? What is the guidance that this masculine and feminine need to know in this now moment? That's why, you know, with these mood swings, keep your moods under wraps, guys, okay? This is only temporary. Keep to yourself. Keep lighthearted, okay? Do good things. That's all I have to say. Masculines, if you believe, we have no. There will be success. You know, I feel like masculines is in a negative mindset. Okay, they need to believe that they will have success in union with this partnership because I feel that, you know, there is another energy here. They need to believe in their dreams, that their dreams can become a reality, that there will be success in it, but they have to believe, okay? That is what I'm feeling. Ask your angels and masculines for guidance. Meditate and look for a sign. See, you know, when it came to the music, I feel like there were signs that were coming through this masculine through music, but they were not listening to it. You need to go out in nature and meditate and open your eyes and see what is in front of you. If you're not with the feminine and the physical, okay, just, you know, take whatever signs and synchronicities that come in your way and use that as a sign from universe. Feminines, we have unlikely and a year from now. I feel like, you know, it's unlikely that a year from now there will be romance, okay? So what I'm feeling is that if you guys have been in separation for about a year, it's unlikely that you guys have had a romantic connection. But feminines, you still feel the romance with your masculine. You know, and I feel like, you know, for this particular feminine, you have set up some boundaries, okay? And you want the masculine to come correct. This masculine really needs to believe in this connection. They need to break free from their karmic attachments. Uh, you know, I'm feeling like two different energies here. You know, take the parts that resonate throughout this reading because I feel like bits and pieces will resonate with each and every one of you even though that this whole reading, you know, wasn't really for you, if that makes sense. And get more information, feminines. Communicate clearly. It's very clear that feminines need to communicate clearly. It showed up multiple times on the feminine side. Communicate clearly and get more information, okay, on this romance. And it's a year from now. So I feel like uh, it was unlikely that you had this romantic encounter with your masculine in the past year. So however your year was, 
backtrack and see what that year uh, milestone was. That's what I'm feeling. I'll put one more. In the near future, in the near future, you'll be able to communicate clearly to your masculine. So I really hope that this reading was helpful. Let me know what you think. Thank you all for all your comments, your shares, your likes, and your subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can visit me on my website. It's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG or Scorpio Moon Intuition. And guys, okay, yesterday I redid all of the audio uh, or re-recorded videos for all the personal readings who had uh, difficulties with their audio uh, and their personal reads. So I did almost everyone except for two. So uh, for those two people, I will uh, send that out to you later on in my evening and then I will work on the rest. So if you have booked a reading with me and you haven't heard from me, just know that you are in queue and I'll be working on your readings uh, tonight and throughout the weekend. And there's only, I want to say, eight, eight more readings that I have to clear up that I haven't worked on yet. So if you're a part of that, then you're, you're in that um, queue. So that's a local call. Alright, well, I will talk to you later. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.